Is Jeb at peace with uh, how it came out? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he knows he worked really hard. I mean, for all the low energy stuff, the truth is if Trump had Jeb scheduled for three days, he'd be in the hospital. And he's worried for the country now. He's one of the very few guys along with Mitt who refuses to support Trump, to his great credit. I've been surprised at the magnetic field of blind party loyalty and a little disappointed by it. Some of the polling now shows that he has gone from mid-70s in terms of support from Republicans to the mid to high 80s. Right. Does that mean that the notion of party unity is not a problem for him? We don't really know yet. You want to be in the low 90s, 94, 95. And he's managed to break through the mid-80s now. So he's still short of what he needs. Remember, Romney lost the election with, you know, 94 and a half, 95 percent. What do you uh, expect that House and Senate candidates are going to do? They're in a tough position. They're thinking, all right, I've got primary voters who love Trump. I'm hoping for this magic Trump vote to show up, which we've never seen before, which is a mirage, but hope springs eternal. And I've got swing voters who can't stand the guy, who I need to win. So if they're in a safe Republican district, they can probably be for Trump and be fine. If they're in any kind of competitive district, he's going to be toxic to them, and they're trying to navigate that. And I think a lot of them are going to get in trouble because they'll get close to them, they are back off, and it'll be inconsistent, which will not help. Paul Manafort, mm -hmm. Tony Fabrizio, who uh -huh. have gone on board with Trump, what is their capacity to overcome some of this resistance with their connections, their knowledge of the party, their ability to talk to Republican audiences? Well, they, they know how to do the basic mechanics, but that's a commodity. Corey Leontowski knows how to you know, rent a hall. The problem is they're like Charlie Manson's Foxtrot instructors. Yeah, they can teach him how to dance, but he's too busy trying to cut their heads off because he's insane. So they can add the noise of a campaign, but it's ultimately all about Trump. And Trump's favorite thing to do is rent a hall, read the crowd, tell them what they like to hear, and then get on his plane and watch himself on cable. They can't change him. And he's the, pro he's the strength of the Trump campaign, and he's the fatal flaw. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.